This is Rod, your family history guy. We are here in beautiful San Diego, California, and we are heading to the house of a dear friend. His name is David Beck. He is a descendant of Joseph Knight Sr. See you there. This is David, my friend. <laughs> Hello, Dave. Hello. Thank you for gracing my invitation to talk to you and interview you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. As he mentioned, my name is David Beck. I was born in Salt Lake City and have lived here in California most of my life. I'm a descendant of Joseph Knight Sr. through his son, Newell Knight. Uh, that's on my mother's side, by the way. Okay, he was. Um, he was a remarkable man. He was a friend of the Smith family, the Joseph Smith Sr. family and all of his children. And he took a particular liking to Joseph Smith Jr., the prophet. Uh, he provided employment to the young Joseph while he was growing up. When, when Joseph had the first vision in 1820, the uh, Knight family uh, believed it. They had they had faith in the prophet, and they did a, a lot to uh, support him and protect him. And they did a great deal to support the restoration. Uh, as I'll as I'll talk in a minute uh, about another question which I'll ask. Thank you. And uh, how do you feel about uh, being a descendant of? Uh, Joseph Knight. Well, I'm truly humbled and grateful for that. Uh, I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I'm thankful. Uh, the Knight family has set a great example for me. I'm still learning about them, and I, I'm uh, uh, just so impressed by what they did, their testimony and their devotion to the gospel of Jesus Christ and the restoration. And coming forth with the Book of Mormon, it's a, uh, it's an it's an amazing thing that they did, and I'm I'm so honored to be a, a part of that family. I can never forget what he did with regard to the Book of Mormon plates. Um, he was staying, he and his wife uh, were staying with the Smith family. I, I believe it was for about a week uh, in 1827, in September. And on, the, on the day that the angel Moroni told the prophet Joseph that he could have the, that he could uh, take the Book of Mormon plates, uh, Grandfather Knight provided the horse and wagon necessary to pick up and transport, transport the plates from the Hilcomora. Uh, and it's my understanding that he, that he built a uh, special secret compartment in the wagon to hide the plates from, uh, from robbers who, who were uh, trying to steal the plates. And later on, uh, during the translation process, which lasted for several weeks, uh, Grandfather Knight provided uh, periodic uh, support to the prophet uh, in the form of uh, uh, financial uh, food, uh, food supplies, and also writing paper for the translation process, so this this was uh, this was a remarkable uh, feat of faith and devotion that the the Knight family performed uh, for the Prophet Joseph. Yes, in the church history, it was mentioned that the Prophet Joseph Smith gave him a uh, cane. Would you like to share that story? Uh, yes, uh, one day in Nauvoo. Uh, the Prophet Joseph saw Grandfather Knight uh, hob hobbling down the street, as, as the phrase is. And uh, I, I guess he felt sorry for him, so he walked up and put his arm around him and told him that he wanted, he wanted Grandfather Knight to have his cane because he needed it more than, than uh, the Prophet did. And that, that cane was handed down in the Knight family and was recently donated to the Church History Department. That's wonderful. I'm so touched by that story. 
Yet, in addition to a faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, which they had very deep faith, they had a willingness to sacrifice everything they had for the gospel and and the support of the prophet, the willingness to support the prophet and provide resources where necessary. And I, I, I've never forgotten that. And I, I take that as a personal uh, challenge to me to be willing to sacrifice everything if necessary for the restored gospel, which President Nelson, by the way, has said that the restoration is ongoing. So it's not over with. It's going to go until the, the millennium. So I, I am impressed by their willingness to sacrifice, by their humility also. They're very humble people. Uh, Joseph Knight Sr. is my fourth, fourth great-grandfather on my mother's side. This is the genealogy of uh, Joseph Knight Sr. Um, as he is connected with uh, David here. This is this shows the lineage from uh, from my mother, my mom, uh, up to Joseph Knight Senior. Um, we uh, we our lineage goes through Newell Knight, his son. Newell was one of seven children of Joseph Knight Senior, and Newell's uh, son was James. James had a daughter named Sylvia Knight. Sylvia was my uh, mother's grandmother. Testimony is so inspiring, motivating for me. Oh, thank you very much. I, I, consider, it. I consider this uh, one of my highlights in my entire life. To be able to meet such a wonderful man who is a descendant of such a wonderful person, Joseph Knight, senior, and the rest of the uh, members of the Knights. Yes, I'm honored to be a descendant. I've committed to uh, do what I can to be sure their name is honored and uh, remem remembered. And uh, I appreciate what you're doing in that regard, too. It's uh, very, uh, very, very, very uh, comforting to my dad. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. So again, David, I want you to know that I'm so uh, blessed to know you and to feel your spirit and share something about uh, Joseph Knight and his family. Thank you so much. And as a, as a closing remark, would you like to share your feelings and testimony about, about his life and the gospel? Well, the gospel is definitely true. The more, the more you study it, the more, more your testimony deepens. It's, it's so very true. It's the work of Heavenly Father and the Savior and it's going to continue. The church will roll forth. I know these are tough times right now with the pandemic, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not going to stop the work. It will go on and on, and the, the church will roll forth until it fulfills its destiny. And very soon we will experience the second coming of the Lord. But before then, there's a, there's a lot of work for all of us to do. And uh, I, I certainly am willing to do my little humble part, uh, in, in part inspired by what the Knight family 
has done. I can only do a, a, a tiny fraction of what they contributed, but, uh, but I'm excited to be able to do what I can. Thank you, David, for your time. You're welcome. It's a great pleasure. Well, I would like to introduce my son, who was named after Joseph Knight Sr. Uh, this is little Joseph. <laughs> he was born on April 6th, uh, about six months ago. April 6th is an important date, of course. It's the 200th anniversary of the first vision. So little Joseph here is a very special baby. We love him very much.